Well, this week has been something. You know, last week my boss told me, save up your money because we're going to get slow. Ain't happened yet. My boss is kind of stupid. I mean, he's a great guy, but sometimes I, I find myself wondering how he made it so far in life. Just because from time to time, you know, like the whole, you know, he's telling me to save up my money. And I'm like, you do remember that I'm starting my own business, right? I'm sp I've been spending more money than I make all year long. So saving is impossible. Secondly, because on that same subject, you know, we were talking about things. And first of all, I did not call Arthur, Arthur House. I had planned to, decided against it just because I looked at their website and it was like, no, you it, by submitting this information, you consent to receiving at least like 10 texts a month or whatever. And I was like, you know, I'm going to wait until I have something a little more solid before I submit anything, like so that I have something I'm actually ready to sell. And then I ended up talking to you know, my boss about it and he was like, don't do it because and basically one thing he was pushing really hard was the fact that you know the, it's a self-publishing thing you have to foot the bill yourself and i'm like you do remember that i was planning to self-publish anyways i was always planning to pay the bills myself why do you keep forgetting that every time we talk about this because that was the one thing he just kept pushing hard. That it's not in a professional like publishing house. You know, you have to do pay for everything. And I'm like, I was always going to pay for everything. That was never an issue. The only thing he said that made me reconsider was just that. Apparently that specific thing, you know, his brother had done something with it before. And, like, they make you buy 500 copies. You know, it's like a minimum purchase requirement. And then they just ship it to your door and they're done with you. That's it. Have a good day. Good luck. Which I can understand isn't necessarily ideal. Especially, like, I can't guarantee I'll sell 500 copies of anything. So I don't want to have to put up that much money just to have, you know, a box of paper sitting in my fucking corner. So... But one, he did suggest looking up different sites, so there are a lot of different websites that have just up front a lot more information. None of them will tell you prices unless you actually pay an order. Or at least, you know, tell them what you would want to order and they can give you a quote. And so I'm just, I'm not there yet. I'm still going to wait till at least the end of the WNBA season. So September at the earliest before I start doing a lot of this stuff. But there are definitely some sites that look a lot better than the one that I found out first. Which, you know, because like they'll tell you, oh, they not only print books, but they'll help you develop ebooks. There are different ones that will offer different services depending on what you're willing to spend. You know, will they offer, help you with, uh, uh, hmm. Or they'll help you with like formatting and editing and stuff. It's at least that's what they say they offer. Like I said, different things are saying different stuff, but you know, it's good to know that options are out there. So I have more to look into, and this also explains how so many shitty fan fictions end up getting published. Cause I was I was always wondering how this kept happening, cause I feel like. Most respectable publishers probably wouldn't want to touch that shit, would they? Uh, you never know. I don't know what's in the mind of, like, a professional editor's head. I do know, though, work, as busy as it's been, it does kind of suck. You know, because I was looking forward to those six-hour days instead of 12 Oh, my boss tells me, you're going to start slowing down real quick. My first thought was, you're telling me that my job's about to get easier? Oh, no, whatever shall I do? <laughs> but, yeah, because it's like now it's, well, getting home at 1.30 on a Saturday morning, and my legs feel like jelly. I just, 
I'm gonna probably, there's a good chance I'm just gonna fall asleep on this floor as soon as I turn the camera off. Cause like I've lost all feelings from below the waist. But there is some good things about the job. Like Jose quit. Which when I heard that I was just like, Hallelujah! Sha na 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 Sha na 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 Eh 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 Goodbye And apparently when he quit he said he wasn't coming back until they you know the restaurant you know that kid they they got their shit together And when I heard that the first thought in my head was so he's never coming back then <laughs> Which, but also, it's kind of funny that he would be the one to say that, because he was clearly the worst employee, bar none, at every restaurant that the company owns. <laughs> so, it's funny to hear him say that, that he thinks other people need to get their shit together. <sighs> Bad news is, though, yo, even with him gone, my life is a hell of a lot less stressful. But there's one thing bothering me, and it's, you know, the girl I was talking about, how before in the other vlog, how we're not really friends anymore. Somehow we've turned into enemies. And I say somehow, it's just because it seems like the longer she's there, the less effort she gives. And it kind of pisses me off in so many ways. I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I've always kind of felt this way. But she's a bit sanctimonious and hypocritical. And in her defense, she's only hypocritical because of how sanctimonious she is. I didn't say it was a good defense, but it is technically a defense. Your Honor, I, I did not mean to kill that man. I was trying to shoot the man behind him. Not, you're still going to jail, but... So yeah, just... My elbow is hurting, so I can't really lean on it, but it's so hard to sit up straight right now. Uh yeah, she just she pisses she's pissing me off to no end. Just she she has to bitch about everything, even though she'll do some of the exact same shit. Basically she just wants the entire world to bend to her will, which I kinda get. I'm kinda the same way, but I accept the fact that it's not gonna happen like that. You know, and I just try my best to make to be flexible and make the best out of whatever I get and her it's just like everything has to go my way and if it doesn't fuck all of you you change everything about the way you live your lives in order to make my dreams come true and I'm like bitch please and actually this morning I had a dream about her because I we were at work and I was just like at my station washing dishes and then uh, I don't know what they were doing. They were, for some reason, the, the staff was having a meeting in the room with me. But, like, they were, on, they were in, like, the opposite corner of the room. And so, I don't know. I was just... I, I, I just I, I'm just doing my damn job. And for some reason, she starts bitching about how I'm being too loud, making too much noise, and it's distracting. It's hard to focus on the meeting. And I basically said, deal with it, bitch, I'm doing my job. And at some point in time, like, there started being a lot of yelling. Like, so, so it led to her just, like, getting up, coming over to me. I think I had go to, I had go to her into it, like, bring it, bro, come at me. So she get up, she starts walking to me, and there's just, like, this giant-ass mixing bowl full of ice water. And I just pick it up, pour it on her, and then I just drop it at her feet, and I just stand there, like... And she, she's just stunned, silent for like two or three seconds. And then she tries to punch me. And I just catch her fist. And then I twist her arm. So that she's like, and then, so, and I get, I get it behind her. And so she's like, and I got like twisting her arm back there, bent her over like that. And then I just like clasp the back of her neck and I'm squeezing it. And she's like yelling and screaming in pain. And all the other people are just kind of standing there like, uh, what do we do? He's not actually going to hurt her, is he? Oh, shit. What's go what, what do we do? And then I just kind of lean in and I tell her, you really think you're irreplaceable. You, you are a dime a dozen. Do you know how many cooks are lined up to work at this place? If you, if you disappeared, you know, we'd, 
we'd be we'd be stop missing you after about a month once we got the new guy trained. However, they will never find anyone like me. No one will ever do their job as well as I do it. You think you're irreplaceable? No. You are irrelevant. And by the way, I will never be scared of you because you weigh about five pounds soaking wet and I could rip your arm off like it was paper. And then I woke up. And I don't know why, but I just, it felt, that dream felt really good. And it felt good to just say those things. And I think the only way that that dream could have been better is if I had just let go of her and started walking away. And then Trillville starts playing. You can never, ever, 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 get on my level, ho, get on my level, ho, get on my level, ho, get on my level, ho. So yeah, that was my week. Still, uh, good news is, still getting those paychecks. Bad news is, I'm really looking forward to having some easy days. I'm looking forward to the first time I get two days off where I have a three-day work week. I'm looking forward to those days where I go there, I work five hours, and then I come here and just get to chill at home. But whatever. Got some shit going on this weekend. Don't want to tell you what it is yet, but there might be an interesting update in the future. And for now, just oh, I'm going to turn off this camera and I'm probably just going to conk the fuck out on this goddamn floor because I can. Also because I can't move my feet. So, yeah. See you next week.